Hi there, it's Laura here from I Heart Planners, and I'm gonna share with you my favorite unique decluttering method that I call reverse decluttering. But before I jump in, make sure you take a second and sign up to get my free decluttering checklist. It's gonna help make it easier for you to make decisions when you're decluttering on what to keep and what to toss. And of course, if you haven't, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss another video. Let's face it, decluttering can be really hard. It's hard to decide what to keep, it's hard to decide what to get rid of, and I have come up with a little method that I call reverse decluttering that makes it so much easier. So here's what you do. Typically, when we're decluttering, we might walk into a space and look around, say at your closet, and you're gonna look around and, and say, what is it that I need to get rid of? What do I not love? What do I not use anymore? And you'll go about it that way. The problem is, it's really hard to decide. It's really hard to identify things that need to go. So instead, turn that on its head and do reverse decluttering. There are two ways of doing it. Number one, the physical way. So literally take every item out of that space. I suggest starting with a smaller space so you don't get overwhelmed. Like don't take every single item out of your kitchen, for example. <laughs> and um, But take one drawer, one shelf, one section of the closet. Take everything out. And instead of saying, what do I want to get rid of? Say, what do I want to bring back in? If I didn't already have these items, what would be good enough to come back in? And if you're really struggling, I highly suggest that you literally do this physically, like take it all out and just decide what you want to bring back in. And then anything else can go. I know it's a subtle mindset shift, but it can really help make the process go more smoothly. Now, if the thought of actually physically removing things from your space overwhelms you, it's possible to do this without actually taking them out. So look at each item or physically touch each item, like maybe go through the hangers in your closet and say, would I bring this back in if, I, if it wasn't in here? So that's an alternate way to do it, but as much as possible, literally take this stuff out and like I said, keep it to a minimum. Like for example, I would do one shelf or even one container, something that can be put back in a reasonable period of time because what you don't want to do is get a bunch of stuff taken out and all over the house and not have time to put it back because that's going to create more overwhelm and stress, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. Now, when it comes to decluttering, I have a few questions besides just this one that I like to ask myself and those are all in my free decluttering checklist. All you have to do is click the link and you can download one for yourself to help you speed up the decluttering process. 